Welcome to episode 31, guys. It's Dad's Tactic here. We're uh, delving yet deeper, or not deeper, we're going to be actually staying on the surface for a little while. Today, we're going, I'm going to try to make use of this very small population of dwarves that we have to get some things done. It just, it's painful. And uh, I thank you for indulging me yesterday with my... Uh, with my video on uh, basically that you know uh, what I call it tips and tricks of the fortress uh, is what I ended up calling it. I uh, didn't think it was going to be anywhere near that long, uh, just going through it all. But um, anyway, we got through it <laughs> together. We got through it. Uh, I think in hindsight there were some interesting things in there that uh, that that were useful uh, for you guys. So you know, like if you're sort of uh, are new to the game, it may it may be helpful. Hopefully. Uh, that's the that's the goal anyway. Was to sort of do that anyway. We we noticed in the last one when we looked at the stocks, when we looked at the um, at the broker, not the broker, the uh, the um, the uh, what are they called? What are they called? The bookkeeper. <laughs> that's a hard word. They're both being giving the B. Come on, you got to give me a you got to give me a bit of credit there. They're right next to each other, so of course I'm going to get confused with those two. Uh, anyway, we just go through uh, when we looked at the broker. <laughs> bookkeeper <laughs> we looked at the bookkeeper and had a look through uh and had a look at, the, at pretty much the seeds actually that was pretty much the thing that um that sort of was a bit scary when we look at the number of seeds pigtail is for our cloth industry that's fine we've got no problem with that at all so that's going to we've got a lot of pigtail seeds um heaps of them dimple cup spawn we're not going to be using that anyway so that's just sitting there ready to go only one, and that's been planted. That's actually in the in the ground, ready to go. So if we go and look at that one, C uh, cave wheat as well. Hardly any of that. But we've got heaps of barley back and through here, and we've got heaps of rye. Now these can be made into different drinks, rock nuts and sweet pods. Not we're really sort of getting them more from outside than anywhere. Our drink is okay at the moment, but let's actually now make use of it. We're coming through winter. We're going to hit, be hitting spring, so we might as well go and get the barley sort of ready for the next season. I'm going to create like a fairly big um, area for, for growing this. Now, barley has to grow outside where the sunlight actually hits. Now, in the old game, you used to be able to designate and see what you know what ground was actually being hit by sunlight and what ground wasn't. Now, any ground that wasn't being hit by sunlight would actually end up, um, it would, you know, things wouldn't grow from the surface in through there. We can still see that there's grass growing through here, for example. So you can sort of see that we've got snow-covered dense mountain avens. We've got, um, yeah, in through this side, we've got the barley. We've got a, uh, a small sapling, which won't grow any further than that because there's a roof above it. Um, for some weird reason, this is actually still getting sunlight. And the reason for that is that basically roofs and floors and things actually count as sunlight. It lets the sunlight through. So there's nothing that we've done there to stop it. So we can now use that to secure some, uh, some growing underneath. Now, one thing I should point out is that when you chop down trees, and trees, and I don't, I don't think we've got any trees that are close enough to sort of see it, but Often when you're playing the game, and you, we won't see it in here because we, we don't have any trees that are that are uh, close to anything that's a problem. Uh, quite often you'll just see some roots off to the side. That's very, very dangerous. Okay, so if you see that in your fortress, uh, be very, very wary of that because ultimately it can create a hole in the in the in the surface. Now you can see through here also when trees come down, they do expose the soil a little bit as well. Sometimes when the trees are sort of uh, are, uh, are brought down but we don't actually have I don't have anything to show you through here and, the, and the, where I want to build it is also maybe I'll build it out to here and we'll just sort of see I'll see if I can find the find what I'm talking about I'm going to build an area in through here using the trick knowing that floors don't stop um, don't stop the actual um, you know what's actually happening now let me have a look down through here don't stop the sunlight is what I meant to say not uh, whatever it was I just said um, we've got sandy clay through here, which we should be able to then grow on. But we then, after that one, we then end hitting limestone. So we've only got one layer. Now, if we were two layers down the soil, I wouldn't need to do this. In fact, what I could do is still actually go and build an actual fortress out outside here if I wanted to, to sort of have it sort of then working if I wanted to. But um, I'm just going to put it on that one layer. But it's very dangerous, as I say, just to do that one, particularly with all these trees that are going to be growing. These are just um, little, actually, some of these are dead. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go and create a uh, an area outside for this. And so I'm just going to go to my channeling down. I'm just going to channel down, and I'll channel right up to that, that tree, and we should see some other things sort of coming from that one. I'll just unpause. In fact, I'll just come back when they've, already, they've, when they've done all of this because it's going to take a long, long time. 
because I've only got 18 dwarves. You should have a lot more dwarves at this time uh, in, in what's actually going on. All right, so they're now sort of getting this one done. Now, I want this to be secure. And will we see the roots? No, we won't. Uh, unfortunately, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. See how it's just got a little bit of root on the side, Bayberry tree roots. Dangerous. That is very, very dangerous. So we don't like, be very careful when you see that because that is a weakness. Now, I do have to chop this tree down actually now. So I will chop that one down and um, just let them finish off this, this area through here. Now, these other bits and pieces just all fall down. So I've now got a, a ramp that goes down into here. Now, this is I can actually go in here and build on this. Actually, I will just go and, and finish off. Uh, I'm going to actually go and get rid of everything except for maybe just one little ramp over here for starters. That way, at least there's some access. So I'm just going to go and do this just to, just to clean it right up. So I'm just going to go across to there and down to there. That way, we've just got one ramp in the corner. Now, the will wrap with this one very, very quickly. And so we've got sandy clay. Now, the certain soils won't grow things, but we've already seen that this stuff is growing stuff. So usually the first layer or two should be fine. Um, some clays won't do it and some sand won't do it. Like if you just got pure sand, but if you've got sandy clay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know why it's fine. It's just fine. Now I'm with the access point there. So we're now we're one layer down. This is now exposed. Oh, it's already done it. Great. They've already chopped down the tree. This is good. Now what we'll see is we no longer see the roots. Now the reason that we want to get rid of the roots, we don't want to be seeing them at all uh, because they can form like a, a bit of a hole th through the um, through the surface down into your caverns. And so if you've only got one layer above where your actual workings are and you've got roots coming down, there is a chance, and it, it, like it's actually not a, even a small chance, but there is a chance that it will cause holes and goblins can actually access. So, so all of a sudden you'll have a goblin invasion out of nowhere and you won't know where it's come from. It'll be because of roots. So I'll, I'll almost guarantee it if you don't know where it's where they've actually come from. So what we need to do is we need to, um, I'll just pause that for a second. We need to actually secure this so that we actually don't have anything around it. So any trees we have to get rid of like this. I need to have a wall, sorry, a floor that is one level out because I can't I can't risk having these trees grow right next to it. So I'm just going to go across. Now we've got a fair bit of wood through here. I might even chop down more of the wood. Um, I've got to be careful that we don't hurt our own guys with this, but let's just get a lot of the wood in through this side. And uh, I'm just going to start to build flooring above this level, but one level out just to cover those roots. So um, uh, I, I, would, I would say that's very important. Um, probably others would probably not give it the same level of importance. But anyway, I just want to go to floors. Now, it's a big area for us to do this with. I'm just going to do it down to there. The corners in, the, in there, I'm going to actually be I'm ending up doing different things with them anyway. So let's just go across. I need 120. Now, Bayberry Woods, I'm just going to, instead of going at all, uh, because a lot of these will be downstairs and I don't want to be bringing them up from downstairs, I just want to go and grab as many as I can from where the distance is still fairly small until we get up to around about, say, maybe, well, at 60, it looks like it's down the, at the bottom of the, of the fortress. So that's now gone up to 71. So we've got 30 in through there. Actually, we're not going to get through this, are we? Um, and then we're down to there. Hmm, okay. What I might do is um, have a look at my blocks. I have been building some blocks. They can move these fairly quickly. So let's just go with all of the granite blocks, all of the slate blocks, the microline. I do have gabbro as well. I don't care so much if it's, it would be neat if it was all one type of of thing. Um, we've got 33 gabbro blocks. We've got mudstone blocks. We've got 21 of those. Let's go and grab those. Um, sandstone blocks as well. Blocks are good because you get four of them uh, for every every one piece of stone that you create. They're actually the best thing to, to do these sort of construction building with, ultimately. Uh, nice blocks, we'll grab those as well. There's going to be a real mishmash of different sorts of things in through here. God, how much have we got? How much have we got? Um, let's do the rest with that. All right, so that's going to take a while for them to build this. But we can still just go through. We don't have to stop doing what we're doing. We can actually just go through now and start to plant what we want to be planting in here. Now, 
I tend to try to get around about 10 squares per, per, um, per farming area. So I'm going to go across into my workshops and then I did it differently when I went underneath, like we had like 25 in those, like a five by five or a four by four, might've been four by four, I think. I can't remember exactly which one it was. Anyway, in this case, I'm probably just gonna put like a, a two width area down through here. And I'll probably get a lot of them actually, because we know that we've got a lot of barley and, and rye. And there may be other things that we could also then grow down in here as well, like cotton, so if, there, if there is any cotton. Just things like that, that we can make good use of. So just go to farming farm plot we want to keep on building up this one afterwards so i'm just going to go and, and create like a group in through there i will just keep them coming so this will be that's one farm plot i could put a one in the middle or two two there if i do two and then two that would actually sort of that, that way i can actually just have three to start with and then once it's all finished then go and actually add in the others in between. So I can just do it this way. And um, and so with these farm plots, I can then just go back across and wait until it wait for them to be built. So I'll just pause this. Oh, by the way, it looks like they're building cage traps, I think. Yep, they just built that cage trap. Anyway, I'll pause. It's funny, it's taking forever. We're now in late winter and it's uh, the grasses are already growing in here. Now, eventually I will actually put more farm plots in, the, in these areas. We will actually then end up having like a little walkway which is underneath our safe zone. So we'll actually have a walkway straight out into here anyway but that's um it's you know it's very it takes a long 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 time with so such few numbers of uh, dwarves to actually help. Finally we've got someone down here to um to actually go and and uh, uh, get the farm plots ready. Now that we've got this one done, we now can go through. It's now spring, <laughs> so we've we've hit the uh, the next season. So we've got spring, then summer, then autumn, and then winter. And you can sort of see that it doesn't really change these in through here. Now we don't. There's the certain we can build. We can grow a lot of different things in through here. But the seeds that we actually have are for barley and rye. So I'm going to do two barley um, in through here for each season. So I'll just do a a barley all the way through and for winter as well and uh, then uh, and th then we, when we get the next one done I'll then make that one rye and then we'll make barley again and then ultimately once we've actually got this all finished off and by the way I've suspended this one here just so that if they've got access down to at least get the things planted because if they're planted they can just then just sit there in the growing season for spring and that will get things sort of started once they do get going with this one slowly getting across now this will eventually just get covered with snow like this is and so we won't even see it <laughs> it's just going to be a, a snow covered um, uh, floor and so they're now just uh, unloading everything actually now oh, here we go we've got a um, uh, yes yeah, so they're just unloading basically and so uh, they will actually uh, and so we're just trying to get rice seeds planted in through here but the barley has been planted nice and early in spring so we're going to get like a a lot of barley coming back in through that side. Now, when they get this one done, I'll actually also then just tell them to, they're doing well here now, but bringing the blocks up and the wood, they can do this one fairly quickly. So some of the early blocks were uh, we're using not just blocks, but we're actually using uh, uh, boulders and that they're quite slow. But this is becoming very, very secure. Now I still won't open it up until it's completely done. Yep, so they're still just planting as they go. Wait for this one to be done. So by just leaving that one open, it just allows them to get in and uh, and do what they have to do. There we go, plenty more rye seeds in there. Good on you guys, good on you. Heaps of barley seeds, this is gonna be good. This will be heaps and heaps and heaps of food that we'll end up getting from this. And each biome that you go into will have different sorts of stocks or different sorts of crops that they would then sort of uh, make use of. And when we get the final one in here, I've still got a few more of these, but anyway, I'll pause again until this is all done. I'm just setting up the trade with the elves. I'm just going through anything that we have like handware, uh, headwear, anything that's got like the X's next to it, which essentially means that it's been damaged. So we'll just get rid of all of our old stuff, the legwear, they're, they're still okay. Uh, if they're large, we can't use them, so we'll get rid of that. Unless we have humans, in which case I will keep it. <laughs> they may make use of it, um, 
pipes, plants, prepared meals. I've got to be careful they don't bring any wood across, any, anything wood, like even the bin full of stuff, uh, rings. I do have some of these. I might just go, I've got some that are loose, but some of them are actually in bins as well. And so I don't want to be bringing the bin up. Uh, shields and bucklers, no. Nope. So I'm just looking for anything with the X's next to it. Splint stones, thread, no. We don't have much to trade with them, to be honest. Because of the uh, problem with uh, bringing anything with wood would end up sort of becoming a um, bit of a problem. Weapon racks, weapons. I uh, won't get rid of that either. If I go back to my bins, then we do actually have um, stuff inside here that, um, that may, be, may be worthwhile. I can bring up in, no, I have to bring the whole bin up and I can't really afford to do that with them. So really just going through like the armor and then just getting rid of the leather tunics, the uh, anything with an X on it basically is going to be then given to them. So that will be, uh, oh, I think I just, I um, know oh, that's okay. It's waiting for the 10 items. All right, well, anyway, I'll, I'll just let this one go forward and we'll just do the trade, whatever we can get. Probably nothing much if I know the elves. With the trade, I'm just going to get rid of our stuff. It's hardly anything, only 183 uh, credits worth and uh, we're just going to go and get a linen cloak and a jute robe <laughs> that'll do us done so uh, I see your low uh, still revels in death that poor gentle creature uh, Bilalo is unwilling to trade okay that's basically that will happen they are very very flighty and so um, they're now not going to trade with us so in that case we'll just basically um, no trader needed at the depot of course and off we go so we'll now just leave them to it um, they do, that's what they do, basically. <laughs> they get like a bit like that. Uh, anyway, we'll just go back up the top again, see how we're going. This has still not been done yet, but they are still still planting all of the different seeds, which is good. Just going through all the different bits and pieces in through here. Yeah, so with all of the uh, death and destruction around, they've, um, they're not impressed, which is probably why we're not picking up any people coming as well, like any of our own group. So we're sort of, until we really clean up, <laughs> but after the siege, we're going to be um, we're going to be struggling, I think, for quite some time. Anyway, I'll pause again until this is all done. We've now got a snowstorm. We're going to start to see this thing will then fill up with snow. We've still just got a little bit more to put on the top there. This has now been furrowed. Uh, let's go and place barley all the way through here. That'll do us. And um, I don't need to do it, but I could actually then just go and build more of the actual plots as well. I think we'll just leave it though. Wait for all this to be sort of finished off. At least that gets us started with the planting in the early, or actually in mid-spring now. But we've sort of been able to get through this one without too much drama. Need more wood. Two more guys, two more. Okay, what I've done now is I've actually now unsuspended that corner there where the where the ramp is. And even if they get caught in there, like someone will come and, f and finish this bit off. No one yet. They're all just doing their planting. Someone will come soon. I still haven't opened it up into my fortress just yet, but I will. Well, very, very soon. Oh, here we go. Some migrants have arrived despite the, the danger. So it is the, this is what's been pushing them away. So we do actually have them. Let's just go and have a bit of a look and see where they're coming in from. I'm just gonna click and pause and have a bit of a look. So where are they coming in? They're coming over in over this side. So who have we got? We've got a fish cleaner. Uh, we have a ranger, that's two. Give me more, give me a lot please, minor. Useful, animal caretaker. Now, we haven't spoken really much about when you do get an influx of people, but uh, there's a shearer there. Uh, there's a farmer there. And we have a dwarven child. And a, this is a good, good in, influx. They're going to go down to the meeting area of the fortress and actually then sort of hang out there for a short amount of time. And then they'll actually come and uh, start to help. So it'll just take a little bit. They're very, very social creatures. This is good. We're going to double our population potentially. Uh, what have we got there? That's a woodcutter. Bone carver. Oh, this is awesome. God, we needed this. Blue pea chick. We've got ourselves a, a donkey foal. And a cheese maker. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, bit, a bit too much of a specialist. A herbalist. 
still coming. We've got um, a straight gosling. It's not even a. Um, it's actually not a uh, a pet. Quite often they're coming as pets. Trapper. Now, a farmer. Okay, that's useful. Oppressor. Wow, we've got a lot. An alpaca. Alpacas are great because you can shear them. You can get wool from them. So they're very, very useful. An animal caretaker as well. And uh, a farmer again. My God, we've got, we've got heaps. Um, we have doubled our population. We've more than doubled our population. A miner. This will be good, actually. And another alpaca. Now... I can't tell what uh, what sex they are. This one's male. That one's female. Perfect. So they'll grow up and have baby alpacas, and we'll end up with an alpaca farm as well. And that's it. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll just go and get everything so it's all ready. Like, they're just going to come into the fortress. So um, we've just got this one little area to go left uh, in through here, just waiting for construction. We're basically done under here now. Like we've got the barley and everything actually planted. All I need to do is just now open up this gate, which is directly underneath here. So again, everything's secure where we actually with everything with the way it currently is. So we'll actually now do this one. I think we can I think we can risk it <laughs> somehow. <laughs> that we're gonna get this little bit done. If we if that's not done, uh, we then have to sort of scramble to sort of uh, to do something else. Uh, let's just go back down to our pens. Uh, which one is that? If Four, yeah, F4. So, pens, back in through this side. All those all those animals that have just arrived. So we'll just go down to these. We want to have the um I will bring all the the uh the blue pea hens and things like this. Um now the buck rabbits, I think on these have already been established. I will actually put them down here. Uh the turkeys we keep where they are. The dog we keep where, where that is. And then we've got these other ones that have now come back through. So pretty much all the stuff at the back here, we're just going to throw all of these in there. Um, stray poults. Okay, this is... <laughs> I didn't realise we actually had our babies. So this is actually now... Our turkey farm has actually worked worked out well. And so I'm just going to keep them... Oh, hang on. We don't want them there. What we want Where we want them is back up in the middle of the fortress uh, where we've actually got them allocated in through here so they've actually now these these eggs have hatched which is fantastic so now what we can do is just leave them as a turkey group and so we can now just unlock the door make that one passable and uh, and then we just keep all of those in this location in this particular pen and so that's just going to be where the turkeys end up uh, sort of doing their stuff that's that's great we've got a lot of them actually and they're mainly female fantastic so that's that's eggs now we'll wait for the um, for the actual gobblers to grow up, and then we'll actually start to cull them. Uh, and yeah, that would be great. That way we're going to have like we can keep on getting more and more turkey farms. We can sort of keep on adding them in if we wanted to, you know, and sort of take over other areas. But this is very very cool. So that's the start of the turkey farms as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we've got way too much stuff in here now. So we've run out of we've run out of uh, bits and pieces. Now let's have a bit of a look to see what we've got left. All of this is still here for dumping. That's pretty much the only thing I have for dumping. I'm just going to undump those, and we're going to need to and just see how we're going. Now that we've got so many people, there's a lot of storage still to be done. But that's really really calmed down over the course of the last well, how long have we been doing it? Uh, three months. Uh, since we've been sort of started this particular episode. So um, it's been, again, a long period of time. I've had it on pause for a lot of that, just while we wait for things to happen. I think it's time to atom smash a lot of these a lot of these areas. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to now open this, this one up. We're going to make that one passable. We are going to just double check that that one is active. We're going to go down to the other one that was active, down through here, and make that one inactive. So we're going to suspend it. They're the only, just double check every time you do it, just we've got the, um, in, in terms of our dumps, we've got the Atom Smasher dump and the stone dump, so that's actually fine where that is. Um, now the water source. I no longer want that to be the water source, actually. Oh, by the way, if uh, to do that more effectively, <laughs> well, I can always forget to do it. If you go and click on this one, it actually highlights. So leave this menu and view the, pla the, the, the place sheet or menu. It keeps it open, which is actually much more valuable than just going to the location. So when I do that, it actually stores it. I'm going to ditch that. We no longer want that one. Now, 
do we have a fishing pond? No, we don't actually have a fishing area. So I'm going to allocate this for fishing. So we will actually just go across and create like a fishing zone for this one. I have seen fish around in here a little bit at times. I can't see them just now, but uh, let's just go across and set that one up. Now with fishing, we're going to then need to have, um, just accept that one. And so it's really only the shoreline that they do, but at least we can sort of see that one. And we're going to need to build a fish uh, fish dissector back into here in the kitchen, like a, or a fishery, just to prepare the fish. Actually, it's not that one. It's it's got its own own area. Oh no, it is under here. Okay, so we'll just go and get the fishery. So I'll throw that in there with a piece of granite. All right, that'll do. So we'll just get sort of started in through there. Um, everything's looking good. Everything's looking great. So uh, what we're going to do in here is just literally dump most of what we see in through here. So now that we've actually got this one open and activated, we're going to now just go back and just go back into the dump areas through here. And I'm just going to mass dump most of these bodies. I really don't need them around. Um, In fact, I don't think I'll keep any of them. I'll keep the things like some of the uh, horns and things because they can be useful, but the teeth we don't need. Uh, what else do we want? It's just a rat on the middle there. I'll just make sure that that one's selected as well. Uh, we've got actually the, the ram wool. I'll, I'll, un I'll undo that one. Uh, but the rest of it, we can use bones. We can use hooves a little bit. I'll leave just one lot of teeth there. Yeah, reindeer, bull mangled hair. I don't know if we can make use of that, but let's just leave it there for now. So we're going to ultimately then push all of that stuff into here, and then we'll just atom smash it, and it's gone. We don't have to think about it. It's, it'll be uh, out of our out of our mind at that point. Um, so let's just go back up the top again. Just F1, and uh, just wait for this thing to be fixed up. I'll pause again. Oh, no, there we go. No, no, they're not doing it. So they're going to fix it all up for us. Here we go. No, nope, still not doing it. Yes, we are doing it. Great. Okay, this is now secure. The only real pro potential problem areas would be if a tree grew right there or right there. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that. That's going to be okay. So this hasn't been opened up yet, but that will be opened up, and we can sort of see that these will then these will then grow over the course of the uh, of this of the season. Uh, so we, we can't see, unfortunately, but we should, we should sort of show that just how much is actually growing there. Uh, it's a piece of barley in there. Oh, well, it's okay. Anyway, that's that's all fine. And um, we've got heaps of population. Not heaps, but we've got, a, we've got a fair amount. Now, there's going to be all sorts of other things that will come out of this one. So the pots, there we go, the pots have hatched. I didn't even see it there. So that's actually where the um, where the turkey the turkey pots are, are now there. So migrants have arrived despite, despite the danger. Good on you guys. We needed you. We needed you. A snowstorm has come. This is going to cover up the ugliness of all the different materials we had to use. So that'll be nice. The hand down the bottom there is still actually fighting. That one's done. That one's done. Yep, no problems. We don't want anyone entertaining any of our citizens because that's just going to make them not want to work. And we'll just get some more wood now established. So we need to get our wood stockpile set up. I might just go and start to claim some of these things that are close by. Um, Claim the stuff that's there. Claim those, and we just gonna, we need to get this replenished. So we'll unpause and let it go, happen. There's actually things like these things outside as well. I might just get a few of these. Just the stuff that's close by. We're on the way. We're on the way. This is awesome. So I feel like we've actually now turned a bit of a corner uh, with everything. Um, that's going to be then opened up and then again we can just keep on coming in to plant more things now we've still got a fair few seeds so again we can just go into our stocks and just sort of see okay well what do we actually have um, we'll just go across into seeds pigtail seeds we can't grow them upstairs we've got heaps of them cave wheat we've still got a lot of barley lots of barley and lots of rye all right, I think what we'll do is we'll actually go and open up. This one has, has been set for barley. Yep, so we'll do another barley over here. So we'll just go and, and build another another workshops, farming, farm plots. Uh, 
and I can just get rid of this one in through here. So what we can also then go and do is to start to um, create like a, a, a zone for uh, our seed uh, storage. So we can actually have st seed storage in here as well. Let's just go back across, get rid of this. And, um, and so then ultimately we can actually have seeds uh, stored in through this side just for the barley and the rye, for example. So we might even do that. Just how much time we've we got. We're pretty much on the on the time now, so this will just be a nice way of finishing this one off. So I'm just going to go and create like an area for seeds down through this side. Now, um, typically you don't. Oh, I just did it wrong again. I keep on doing that. Uh, I'll make it all the way across. Okay, so we'll accept that, and this is going to be for food. It's going to be f and only only rye and barley seeds are going to be placed in here. Um, so we've got a seed stockpile downstairs uh, near where we've got our other planting. We will change that eventually, but uh, I think what I'll do is I will actually go and have that as a catch-all ultimately and then bring the other bits in. In fact, we might even... Yeah, no, I'll leave it the way it is at the moment. So what we're going to do is just going to go across to food, go to custom, and we're just going to go to none for any of this stuff except for seeds. And with the seeds, we're only going to allow the barley and the, and the rye. There's so much, isn't there? It's just incredible, this game. Um, rice seeds. That's it, because that's all we're going to be growing there. If we end up with any other sorts of uh, useful plants out from outside, then we'll actually grow them as well. So, oh, and by the way, one thing to do with this one as well, just go across with that one selected and just make it so you don't have any any barrels, none. We'll just leave bags. So we they put them in bags and put the bags in barrels. But if you have just the bags, they plant quicker. And what we then want to do here, sorry, just to finish this one off, is we're going to go and take from. And we're just going to go back down and um, and go down the bottom. And I think we can sort of start to work on some of these other things. Actually, we need soap, so we'll probably do soap next episode. I think. Uh, Actually, where was it? No, we've got soap in my mind, so I'm now in the hospital area. <laughs> Going to go down to here. Now, we had a seed stockpile. Where did I do that? I've got a funny feeling it's this one. Let's have a bit of a look. No, there's prepared meals. Yep, that's seeds. Okay, so we're taking it from the seed stockpile there. Done. So this one, I think we named it Seeds. Yeah, we did. And uh, I'll just go up to the top again and just make this one and name this one as well. This will be um, uh, Seeds Outdoor. And so they will then take from that location and place their seeds up in here, which will be close to where they're planting, which will be very, very cool. OK, I'm going to leave it there, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, so we now have a very secure outdoor growing area that's actually indoors <laughs> and, and look it can be multiple z layers as well i could actually have made that one go deeper down as long as it has ultimately exposure to the surface that's the that's the important thing just through through flooring as you can see this would actually work as well the, bla the barley is still sort of growing in through here as well it's just that's dead rye that is snow covered barley so this this is all sort of happening eventually i'm going to go and fix this up and put flooring down underneath all of that but um, I'm in no great rush. But now that we're actually on, we've got so many different people around, uh, we can start to do a fair, fair few different things in the fortress now. This will really open us up to being able to at least move forward fairly quickly. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.